David Ryan Harris is here, part of 38 Songwriters Festival. Sorry, I know you were walking up the door, but I had to find you there. Well, oh, thanks for hunting. I mean, look at your style. You got a song and hat. I mean, I don't, I don't get to wear it very often in LA because the weather's so the same all the time. So anytime I can go out on Jack Daniels, I'll start. I know, I always say about LA, why do they even need a weather forecast? Because it's the same That's true. every single day. Have you seen the weather forecast? Yeah. Right. So, so you guys don't have like thunderstorms, you just have like earthquakes, mudslides. Right. <laughs> fire. Right. Much, much less fire and riots. But hey, so you, have a you should write a song about that. I should. Are you inspired? I am, thank you. I'll be glad. What is the song that you wish you wrote? Um, I wish that I wrote Stevie Wonder's uh, Love's and Love's Love. That's a good one. That's a good one. What did you think about, while we're on the topic of Stevie Wonder, I just played on my show Isn't She Lovely, which he wrote in like a second when the daughter was born. Right. It heavy with Jay Z's song that he wrote. I, heard it, I haven't heard the whole thing, but I, I did hear some of it. You know, there's something about, we just, my wife and I just had a baby, we have a four month old. Thank you very much. Did you write a song immediately? I wrote a song before he was born for, for sort of him coming. And then I find myself, whenever I change it, I make up these like silly songs and then the melody gets stuck in my head, so I started recording them. There are a lot of artists who have been very successful writing music like that. Mm -hmm. I think about Jewel recently, mm -hmm. and they might be giants. Right. Um, is that something that you would ever seg into, or is that take so. away the cool? I don't, it's not so much that it takes away the cool, I just don't know what to... I don't know. I just don't, it's not for me. Okay. I mean, I think that parents need cool music that they can listen to while they're with their kids. Right. So I'll, I'll write that, but not music actually for. Are you gonna Are you gonna play music like that in the car for your son? You know, play cool stuff. You know. Somebody talked. A good friend of mine said, "Don't ever play the kids' music because you know if you don't play it, then, then they, they don't, don't know to ask for exactly. it." So. Yeah. You know, James Brown's probably far for an ambition. Absolutely. Well, it's cute. When will we see you in Atlanta? Um, maybe sometime in the spring. I was just there for Christmas. I uh, played at Eddie's, and that was, that was great. It's a good homecoming. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so maybe sometime in the spring. I'll be touring with uh, Jonathan and starting uh, sometime in March or so. And you get to work with a friend of mine. I don't want to be a name dropper, okay, but I'm gonna. Okay. okay. Chuck LaBelle's in the band. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. Chuck played on my first solo record. Yeah. But he plays on so many records. I, I saw him at rehearsals, and I was like, Hey, man. You um, you played on my record. He was like, Oh, sure. I did. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about.